Alrighty, it's a new week, and that means a new peak, and today we'll be showing off the Pengu Toys PT-05 Fury B. An interesting mix of the Studio Series Bay vs Bumblebee mold, and a sort of genre design from the Death Race film series from 2008. Starting with the packaging, I was quite surprised by the amount of detail covering the box. On the front, we do have the figure and vehicle and robot mode with the CG render in the corner. Coming around slowly to the back, we have a small pick in the side showing the robot in vehicle mode, then a larger pick of his vehicle mode with a lot of the average text you'd see for a fourth party figure. Finishing off from the with the bottom, we have a list of his accessories. Bringing it around to the figure itself, since it is a fourth party, the mold is based off the Studio Series Bay vs Bumblebee. However, it has been heavily retooled to fit a more armored apocalyptic theme. I really do like what they have done with this figure. However, the spikes on the figure are incredibly pointy and it's, it's practically playing with a sea urchin and the transformation to this guy is quite a nightmare, but I'll get into that later. Going over to the paint, instead of the most other figures I have, this guy has been molded with a matte yellow and grey, finishing with a silver accent. Overall, it's an interesting idea, however, I would have preferred a gloss finish, but in saying that, he does have chock-a-block full of detail, ranging from the painted spoiler, red tail light, and all the intricate silver paint for his mechanical parts. Off to accessories, he does have quite a few, starting with his arm cannon, it does have a slightly different look compared to most other media, however it still matches quite significantly and that just pegs into his right hand. He also does have another weapon which is a shotgun-esque type of uh, design that transforms into his bug catcher, which I believe was the main intention and then they're also just choosing it to be a weapon which is an afterthought. Switching things from offense to defense, he comes with a spiky bull bar scoop sort of thing that plugs into his grill in robot and vehicle mode. Now taking a note from the IDW Tarn from Legacy, he comes with two light up blasters slash boosters with a little backpack section to connect both of them together to make a jetpack. He also does come with blast effects that are made in a clear plastic for the LED sections in the blaster. Another thing I was actually surprised to see is that they are actually also blaster effect compatible. Finishing things off, he also does come with an alternate head. Surprisingly, this is the battle mask from the rebooted universe of Bumblebee and can just be swapped out by taking off the ball joint with ease. Onto articulation, since it is based off the Studio Series mold, it's going to have the same movement. However, due to Pangu Toys adding all the extra parts and detail without changing the base structure of the mold, it is a bit more clunky. But starting off, we have a ball joint in the head ball joint in the shoulders and the forearms, waist rotation, ball joint in the pelvis and a pin in the knee, and then a rotation in the ankle for up and down movement. But overall he's really clunky and in my opinion not very fun to mess with since you're constantly getting jabbed at with his spikes. But now we're going to head over to transformation and first off you're going to want to remove all of his accessories. Then you're going to want to fold out both his feet and his doors. Next loosen his shin pads and rotate the waist and knees 180 degrees. Now, fold out his rear window and fold up his legs to form the rear of the car and push in his shin pads. Then, Fold out his backpack and bring down his shoulders. Now 
Next, you're going to want to open up his chest by pulling out and twisting forward his headlight sections. After that, pull up his chest section to the bonnet and connect his legs together at the back. Now you're going to want to connect his wheels to the bonnet as well. Finishing off, fold his arms into the open spaces underneath and then to finish everything up, tab in all of his doors, attach the bumper and then attach the bug catcher. Now vehicle mode is really cool, don't get me wrong, however the transformation to vehicle mode is just a complete pain in the ass, especially with all the pointed parts. I think they could have dulled the points or just sanded them slightly. Now I could sand them myself, however I review my product straight out of the box so you guys know what you're getting. Also a quick note, you can remove the spikes on the side of the wheels, however I have seen several reviewers try and remove them and then end up breaking them, so I'm just going to be keeping them in and not risk it. In total, it's an interesting figure and I like the idea, however I feel the execution isn't the greatest. Maybe if another company had a go or if they used a different mold it could have been a different story. However this guy will be gathering dust for the foreseeable future and I advise only getting this figure if you're going to have him on display. I also advise not getting this guy for any younger people or kids just for safety reasons unless you want to experience more pain than standing on a lego brick. But uh, that's all I've got for this week, uh, catch you around, see ya.